right back into the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Don't have a lot of time, so we're going to get right back into the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Let's take a quick uh, reminder of where everyone is. Watermelon here. She's safe and sound in this bedroom. Um, uh, what's his name? Re Re Nine Ball here. I want to say Red Ball. Maybe Red Bull. Maybe that's where I'm getting that from. Um, president again. Back in the president's office. About to contemplate what he's going to do. Those are the only two that are free um, to move about the ship. Um, we have our two two accusers have both been placed into the brig. We have Tater has and Hubba here. Um, Tater's been languishing in the brig for quite some time now. Hubba just got thrown in. Um, they both have said the other is a Cylon. Um, watermelon kind of believes they're both a Cylon, but she's a little bit more sure that Hubba is a Cylon than Tater. She's still not letting Tater off the hook. She's not, she's she's cynical. Um, Nineball, for his part, he believes a little bit more that Tater is a Cylon than Hubba, but he's kind of just staying out of it and trying to be presidential about the whole thing. Um, Brezza revealed last time, well, he didn't reveal, he died. <laughs> um, and so, that became apparent that he was a Cylon at that point when he woke up on this resurrection ship. Um, died in sort of a little suicide move. Uh, he he got his his ship ship crashed, his spaceship crashed there, so that he could um, convincingly not protect the um, the uh, settler ship. I, I yeah, just someone some some civilian ship. Civilian, that's the word I'm looking for. Civilian ship that was there. Um, and so that's where we stand. It is now the president's turn. He's going to do some presidential actions, I think. He's happy to have his quorum deck back, and so he is going to have to he is going to activate the president's office, which means he has to discard some some um some skill cards in order to do it. I'm remembering to do that now. For those of you who are wondering, he has a terminal illness, and that means if he's going to use any actions that are related to a place, um, the illness makes him cough up some skill. A little moment of trust has come up. Nine, Nine Ball wants to play a card. He asks if anyone has a, um, a one of those cards that adds to the die roll um, before he plays it. Tater is the only one who claims to have such a card, and so he is going to have to decide whether or not to trust her. Um, since it's in the open, and if she doesn't play the card at this point, she's going to be um, identifying herself as a Cylon. He is going to trust her to act in her own self-interest regardless and play this inspirational speech. Um, the humans are very low in morale, um, in danger of succumbing to depression. So he is going to talk everyone up, talk about Jesus Christ, I think, and how Jesus has blessed their mission. Um, I don't know if it's irony. I can I can never I f always forget if I'm using irony correct correctly or not. But ironically, it's actually the robots who are monotheists in this world. Um, the humans are pantheists. So he's kind of he's kind of treading on some some controversial territory. I, or I think he could um, cause himself some trouble if people are if there's any role players present. Um, invoking the uh, one true God because everyone else is into Zeus and Apollo and all that. Um, so she does play the card, the strategic planning. That's going to give him a plus two to the die roll. If it's six or higher, they're going to add morale. Otherwise, nothing bad happens. They just... Yeah. And that's two. Two plus two is four. Four is less than six. And that will conclude our math lesson of the day. He should have spoke about um, Zeus and I think it might have made people a little bit more excited since none of them have ever heard of Jesus. So Nineball selected a potentially promising crisis. It's a crippled raider. Um, unfortunately, it requires purple and blue. They're, the only person who gets blue is Hubba. Hubba's in jail right now, so you can only throw in one card. He claims he can't help too much with that one card, and I would probably believe him. He threw in a lot um, in the bedroom over there. And, and purple, you know, the other, the big purple person is Tater. She could only throw in one card. She says she could help a good bit. Um, 
with that one card, but again, it's one card, so the most it could be is six, and that would be pretty big. Um, so, are they going to go for it? They're purple and blue. Uh, Watermelon says she can only help a little bit. He says he can only help a moderate amount. The reason why it's such a big choice is, you know, the good stuff is very good. The bad stuff's very bad. They don't want to lose population at this point. Their population's already in the red. Um, but going up the jump track might mean the difference between life and death. Hmm. After Tater assured him she has one of those uh, Addy cards to make it so that they might not, they, they, they have a good chance of making the die roll. Um, Nine Ball decided to go for that option rather than the skill check. One big reason that actually came into his mind, two two reasons actually, and they were both Cylons. One is Bruzza's coming up. Bruzza could very well send some more crises their way, um, so they're going to need their cards. You know, whether even if they pass it, it's going to be one extra in the jump preparation, but then there's going to be all the that resources, and they're risking a population. The other one is he's fairly sure one of these people is a Cylon, one of those original three. Um, and so, you know, if he's counting on them all to help somewhat, which, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough, tough check to make. Um, if it, even one of them goes against it, that could, that could mean the population. So they're going to do the die roll. She has a card. She's going to add strategic planning. And it was worth four. That would have been useful for the skill check. Um, and let's see, so it's going to be plus two, it's got to be higher than four. So it needs to get a three or higher. And that's five, so she made it. The bad stuff would have been that there would have, would have been an attack. Um, go up the jump trip. So twice now, um, Tater has really helped out with her um, strategic planning cards. Those are the cards that add. As a result, Watermelon and Nineball definitely think better of her than they did. Um, like that last, I, especially since the, the cards are high value and those are the cards she would need to, to put in for the check to get out of the brig. She doesn't get yellow cards. She has no way of getting yellow cards. So the purple cards are her her main salvation and she's been volunteering that she has them not once but twice you know one time if you were a Cylon doing it once would make sense in order to you know to show to try and fool people um, twice is kind of an excessive amount of helping but maybe if you're a Cylon you would want to do that too it's kind of a crucial time where people are deciding which of these two is the Cylon maybe they're wrong about both and it's watermelon who knows Alrighty, so Brezza took two skill cards. One is green and the other is blue. That is going to muddy the waters in terms of Hubba's uh, play. He could put a blue into a skill check and they wouldn't know if it was Brezza or Hubba who played it. Um, then he, he, he did this Caprica location where he got to pick a Crisis. The Crisis he chose was the 33 one that, came, that was there earlier and got shuffled up. That is going to put some... Um, some fightiness back in action. Whoops, I saw that one accidentally. And that's bad because they don't have a pilot and he knows that because he was the pilot. And they only have two ships left that are not broken. Rough. Tater's turn and she has decided it's time to reveal a loyalty card and it says she's not a Cylon. Um, this is a personal goal one and she's able to do it because six vipers are damaged or destroyed. I don't know why that's her goal. Um, maybe a fighter pilot bit her when she was a child? I don't know but there are six. There's been six for a while but um, she decided to take care of this. Now if she had not uh, gotten rid of this what would have happened is they would have lost a fuel at the um, end of the game, which could have caused them to lose. So it was a good thing she did that. Um, of course, if she were a Cylon, she could have um, revealed that anyway, because it would have looked like she was a human. So it really doesn't say anything about her. So she gets a new card it could be a Cylon card there was there was one left in the loyalty deck um, or not she doesn't draw a crisis 
Hubba's turn is pretty uneventful. He played the Consolidate Power card, which he used to get two more purple cards. Purple and yellow are the cards he needs to get out of the brig, and so it makes sense. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice move. Watermelon's turn, she's gonna nuke um, this guy right here, this this little spaceship, and here we go. Bonk. Eight. Wow, that would have been really good if there had been more there. What eight does? Oh, I can just look right here. It destroys every spaceship in the area. So there's only one spaceship, but she got rid of it. And that gets rid of this card. It's out of the game uh, forevermore. And now Watermelon has a very tough uh, choice to make. It's Riots. Uh, riots, she has to choose between losing food and morale or population and fuel. Um, now, f fuel and morale are both very low. Uh, population is also low, but not as low as fuel and morale. Um, however, fuel is lower than morale, and they're going to lose fuel every time they jump. They have to jump, so she's going to have to cause them to lose morale and food, and that's very sad. All right, nine ball. Pick, chose this as the crisis. Remember, he gets to choose from two. Uh, send survey team. He doesn't want to, there's a die roll option or a skill check option. He doesn't want to do the die roll option because they would lose fuel uh, if, if the die roll failed and no one claims to have the strategic planning card which would add to the die roll. So he's going to go for the skill check, however, um, the group has decided not to put any cards in. They feel like it would be a waste. Um, the bad stuff is, is he goes to the sick bay and uh, they lose one raptor. So they have two raptors left. Not the worst thing in the world. Um, better than losing fuel. Alright, so we'll just turn these up. And they got zero. Alright, so they go up. Getting closer to jumping. Hopefully they have the fuel to do so. Alright, Brezza has caused another crisis. Um, pick some, pick up skill cards. I think he chose a blue and maybe a yellow. Um, so scouting for water, they need purple and red. That's going to be tough to muster. Uh, nine or better, not such a, not such a hard goal, but, um, the bad stuff is they lose another fuel and another raptor. I forgot to get rid of this one. So they'd be raptorless. Their fuel would be down to two if they fail this one. Um, in the revised rules for this game, however, they are going to get to go up the jump track. In the, the original, you can't. Um, with Exodus. I don't know if it's because Exodus is, or is added, that's the expansion I'm using, or if it's because they just decided it worked better. Um, normally when the Cylon chooses these crises as a result of this um, space, you ignore the jump, the jump thing. But we're gonna do the jump thing, so at least they have that going for them. Purple is what the, the colonists got a place in. No one has red except for Brazo once upon a time when he was likable. Alright, so everyone's played in something. Um, these three, actually everyone, only, I think everyone only put in one card except for Nine Ball. He put in two. So let's see what they got. Alright, so we have positive two. That's good. Play, good way to start. And then, wow, that's a big blue one. That's negative four now. So that either came from the Destiny deck, Brezza, or Hubba. I don't think anyone else has drawn any blue cards. Alright. That's, um, sorry, I'm starting to get sleepy. That's, uh, that's, that's negative two. Negative one. Iron Will. So this is, this is interesting. Um, this makes it so that if it's within four of the goal, it's not going to trigger the fail result. Okay, so they just got to get five or better. However, if they're negative, they're going to lose morale, and their morale is very low. All right, so we're at negative one right now. That's a positive. That's ne that's positive three. Now, Brezzo is the only one who's drawn a red card, I think, this entire game, and I it would be really weird if he played that. So that probably came from the Destiny deck. So we got one from the Destiny deck. Alright, that's uh, minus four. I, I forgot what I was at. Oh, we were at positive one maybe? Maybe I'll just put them out. Okay, but that's two blue ones. So one of those could be from the Destiny deck. Now here, okay. So unless Brezza's doing something really weird, both of these are the Destiny deck. 
Now since Brezza and Hubba can only play one card, Brezza can only play one card, that means Hubba had to play another uh, one of the blue cards. I think I think he just revealed himself. Possibly. Alright, so we have four, seven, eleven, thirteen, minus ten, that's three. The fail result is still going to be triggered. Um, minus one fuel and destroy one raptor. That's really harsh, but I think, you know, that's going to make people pretty, pretty suspicious right now if they're counting at all. Um, because, yeah, I mean, Brezza, I'm, I'm sure, is probably trying to say that he put in a red one because he wanted to help. But that's just, that's that's really unlikely. Um, so the jump track goes up, and I think both of our, st I, I think, um, yeah, it's going to be, let's see, well, that'll probably come back. All right, Tater's turn. It's simple arithmetic, really. If everyone's pretty sure they know who the two Cylons are, um... Is it soon enough? Did they learn soon enough? I don't think so, but we'll see. They could still pull it off. Um, but it's simple arithmetic. There's two Cylons, and they know who they are. Um, and one of those people is not Tater. The other two... Uh, the other people can be pretty sure that Tater is not one of the two Cylons if they know who the two Cylons are. Um, Alright, so, Tater... I was asked, can we get can I get out of here now? And Nine Ball has said, Yes. If you can give me an action, I can get you out. Um, and she can. She's gonna use this executive order. And he has I'm just gonna a presidential pardon. He's gonna pardon her um, and maybe apologize a little bit. And she is gonna move on out of there saying, see ya. And they didn't really talk much while they're in there, and she's glad to be out. He drew a card. Unfortunately, since uh, Tater is now out of prison, she does have to draw a crisis, and that crisis is low supplies. That doesn't seem that bad, but if they fail, they lose morale. And if food is less than six, one additional morale. So that could take them down to, oh no, their food is fine. Okay, so let's do this crisis, and hopefully they stay happy. All right, everyone put in including our Cylons, um, they passed it by by one point. Uh, there were also two of these iron wills, which would have made it so that they only had to get three or higher. And Hubba held on for as long as you can, he could, but the jig is up. Um, he doesn't feel like he's going to be able to get out of jail. Um, if he were able to get out, he could maybe cause some, some trouble just by making them get put him back in, but he can't do that. So he's revealing himself as a Cylon. He has to discard some cards, and next turn he'll be able to cause some, some havoc in the spaceship. And it's time for another exciting rev revelation. Admiral has no remaining nuke tokens, and that's currently the case. Um, so that's going to keep her from keep them from losing morale. If they get to the end of the game, they're not going to lose a point of morale because she was able to use up all the nukes. Um, she is going to have to get another card, which could be another annoying personal goal, but we'll see. Right, now she's going to draw a crisis. Terrace Bomber. All right, the bad stuff is loss of morale, so they, they better not have that happen. They're going to move up the jump track again. That's great. Um, hopefully, oh, gosh, they really need some gas. I, I, I fear they're going to run out of gas. All right, everyone threw in, and the tally was seven. Um, some sizable blue ones. I think Tater has the card they need, though. But seven is exactly two less than the number they need. So she's going to declare an emergency. That lowers the difficulty by two which means they just barely squeak by. Good for them. They move up the jump track. Phew. And that's where we're going to have to seal it for now. Our silence have been revealed. Our humans are leaping. I, I meant to say limping. In my head it said limping, but my mouth said leaping. Uh, maybe that's a good sign. Maybe they are going to have this great heroic leap that we like to tell ourselves we're capable of. Um, into their new home beyond the Ionian Nebula. Um, 
but I don't know, it looks to me like a limp. It looks to me like they've gotten the the thorn out of their paw, per se. There are thorns out of either paw. Um, and now they're on these kind of bloody stumps, trying to drag themselves home. Um, things, their, their main dangers right now are fuel. So a lot could, could um, depend on what cards... Um, what cards Admiral Watermelon has to choose from. She gets to choose from two different crisis cards. If either of those cards are, you know, two or, you know, if, if they're ones, she wants to take those. Um, or in terms of the amount of fuel it, it loses. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting my tongue um, flipped around with my earlobes. Um, so there's that. That's a big problem. Morale's a big problem. They're if they get assaulted by Cylons and they're not anywhere near jumping, that's a huge problem. Uh, we'll see if they can solve those problems next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament.